Hello and welcome to a cup of conversation on BRT2 TV. My name is Jan Gazi and this week in the studio I have two great friends of ours here at BRTK. And let me introduce you to, well she needs no introduction, the lovely Mary Watson who is here once again with a very good friend of hers and uh, Kate Bell is now a new friend of Bidax. She was <laughs> here a few weeks ago with Mary Watson and Sue Steele talking about Ephra. And if you watch that program, then you will know that Kate Bell said if she raised at least 10,000 Turkish lira, she would have her hair shaved. And we are now returning to the studios of BRTK for The Shave, live on BRT2 TV. So I want to say thank you and welcome, Mary and Kate. Thank you. Hi, thank, thank you. you. Now, before we do the actual deed, and uh, we're very relaxed, aren't we, Mary? We're going to be very Well, happy I'm very today. relaxed, because I've still got my hair at the end of the show, and so me, I'm fine. I don't have much hair anyway, but <laughs> I, whatever I've got, I'm still going to keep at the end of the show. But one person will be going, uh, leaving the programme a little bit uh, with Later. less hair, <laughs> hairless, than when she arrived. But first of all, before we do start the, the deed, let's go back now to when this all began, because we all know about EFRA 2018, and this year you had a great fun run back in April. It, it was an amazing day, wasn't it? It was everyone? an amazing day, yes. What are your final thoughts about that day? When you look back now on maybe what could be your, what was your last fun run as chairman of EFRA, was it as you expected? Was it a really fantastic day full of great energy? I think it was. It is, and I never know quite what to expect. I mean, the numbers were down slightly, um, but thanks to Carrington's, they made a real festival of it. So we had loads more stalls, we had um, singing and dancing in the afternoon, we had loads of food, and we had a, a bit of a carnival atmosphere. And of course the races, and the presentations, and it's just such a fun day, you know, and the weather was better this year. It was actually, the sun was shining, and yeah. uh, you know, it was, a, it was a lot better in terms of weather. And um, th there's always something about when the races start, and the 8K, you see the little guys from the army, you think, I'm gonna win this, I'm gonna win this. And the same guy comes first or second every year. And I believe he comes over from Turkey to take part. So <laughs> that's how important the trophy is to him. And, uh, and the 5K, then uh, that's very much the, the everybody race. Most people yeah. go in for that one. Um, and they play Chariots of Fire for that one, which is you know, a bit of a, a, a heartstring puller for me because that somehow, I think of George when they play that, we had our 5K ladies race this year. Yeah. Didn't have many ladies, but the ones that we had were really, really keen. And of course, the children's race. Yes. And some of the children who did the 2K, who actually were only about this big, did the 5K as well. I know, there were some kids who were running around getting extra medals and, you know, going from one race to the next race. I oh, saw. yes. Yes, really impressive. So, as always, it was a fabulous day. It was a fabulous day, and I think that, you know, when we think about the very first one that George Roper began all those years ago, I think he'd have been proud to see how well it's progressed. And as you said, it was more of a, a carnival festival. In fact, I, as I was leaving, um, a Turkish lady in a car was driving, and she goes, oh, where is the festival today? I said, well, you know, the festival, the races are over, but the, you know, the festival's yes. continuing. But that's how people saw it, I think, more this year, don't you think? As you said, more stalls, more activities, it was like a, you know, a really good Carrington or Ephra festival. Yeah, and, and the, the guys on um, reception who do all the cataloguing of people coming in, they always have lovely stories about people coming up and asking questions. Like, when's the last bus to Gernin? Do you sell fish? <laughs> Loads of people ask them if they sell fish. I'm not quite sure why, but they think <laughs> there's a fish store. But they are reckoned to be the ones that know everything, so they had their work cut out. Yeah. But it was a great atmosphere, yes. and uh, I, I think that, you know, how can you top this next year? We'll see what the new committee will do. I don't know. We don't know. I know that you and Sue Steele have stepped down 
as chairman and vice chairman of EFRA. So 2019 EFRA will be one to watch out and look for, but we're going to be supporting whatever goes on. We'll be there supporting all efforts to raise money for tulips, isn't it? That's the main thing. Yes, and I'm sure it'll be great. It'll be different. And I think we've got to a point where it needs to be different. Yes. We need new ideas. Mm -hmm. We need somebody saying, haven't done that, try that, as opposed to what we tend to say, which we did it last year and it worked, so we'll do it again. Yeah. So I think you'll see it very different. Um, but I'm sure just as successful. I'm sure it will be very, very successful. So, coming to Kate now, last time you were here, we were talking about, you know, you deciding that you wanted to help the charity. Mm -hmm. For those who missed that interview, Tell us a bit about your background with, with EFRA. I mean, are you a member of the EFRA committee? Are you just a supporter of Tulips? No, no, I'm not a, uh, a member of the committee. I'm actually an abnormal. Um, yes. And through the abnormals, we uh, got in touch, well, Mary got in touch with us and we all get raised funds together. So we all know one another through that. And the, the men, bless them, they got their hair shaved and I thought, do you know what? A man can get his hair shaved any time and no look much different. A woman will have more yeah. standing. So I just thought, I can do that. And I thought, if I raise 10,000, at least 10,000, I'll get that done. And you did. Money. And I did. Yes. Yeah. Well done to all your sponsors. Yeah. I believe, I believe you're nearing 13 even. Yep, 13,000. Amazing, yeah. very good. And you, you were saying, I remember, that those who know you, your close friends, know that you are actually quite fond of your hair. I am. But it's not an, an easy decision <laughs> no. is it, for, for, for you to make. No, no, it's not. I do like, I do like my hair and I like tidy hair. But um, it's going to be even more tidier now, isn't it? <laughs> very tidy. For a few weeks it will be tidy. And it's a great time of the year to do it because you've got the summer uh, you know, coming around the corner, so it'll be nice and, and you'll feel the summer breeze in yeah. your, on your head. Mm -hmm. Apart well, from the hat on. Or, or the, the hat. Yes, you, you must have the hat on, otherwise you'll get sunburned. <laughs> but but you, like you said, you were part of the Abnormals. The Abnormals are a fantastic group of entertainers. And by the way, just before I started the interview with you, uh, Susie Ford from the Abnormals wishes you all the best of luck. Oh, thank That's you. That's the message yes, from Susie. Thank you, Susie. Uh, thank you, Susie, for that as well. <laughs> Everyone's supporting you, I know. But the Abnormals, uh, I know, are always there supporting Tulips. You do your shows for Tulips. You dress up for Tulips when you're at the fun run. So, um, and so you, you actually perform with them as well, yes? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Have you got shows coming up soon? <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. uh, Saturday. Saturday's our first one. Yes, yes. In the Saz Bar, which used to be the venue in uh, Turtle Bay, and the following Saturday in Charlie's Bar, along right. at Tatler Zoo. When this programme airs, this will be uh, the 26th of May, so hopefully, fingers crossed, the second time that you'll be doing this show, uh, everyone will be uh, supporting you there, but well done. <laughs> as uh, being part of the abnormals and so so you using your hair actually won't really affect you because I know you, you wear a lot of costumes for the abnormals so no one's going to notice too much are they that you're going to lose your hair? No, probably not. Probably but not. Tonight we've got the quiz. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'll turn up tonight for the quiz, bald. <laughs> Turning up bald, yes. Thursday night quiz. It'll be a fun <laughs> night tonight. Yeah. So Kate, I mean, tongue in cheek and laughing, you know, it's all very good but when you thought of this, mm -hmm. did, you, did you say to yourself, I want to do this because I want to show my support for tulips in a different way. Because you always, you always are supporting tulips because of your abnormals. Yeah. This is something different, an extra way to raise money. Yeah. When you th um, thought of this, did you, did you really think that you'd get 10,000? I hoped to would, I hoped yeah. to would, but um, yeah, I'm delighted I did and I want to thank everyone who sponsored me. Um, but I wanted to do it because I've, I've got family, friends, close friends who suffer from cancer and yeah. have lost their hair and you know and I thought well I'll go and I'll support them and let them know that yeah it's not too bad I know mine will grow in it'll grow it well hopefully yeah. it'll grow in it will it will <laughs> I'm hoping but um when I come back I was in the UK about five weeks ago uh, or for four or five four or five weeks about three weeks ago yeah and the day after I come back I'd heard that I'd lost one of my dear friends as well Right, so, so this quite significant thing. for you yeah. that you do this. Yep. Um, as you say, you know, your hair will grow back. Those who suffer from cancer and have chemotherapy, you know, their hair, uh, they have to lose their hair. So, in a way, it's, it's a double gesture. Yeah. It's something that, you know, for you to, to give back to, to Tulips, and in a way to, to show people, you know, that we are supporting you. You know, being a, a bald woman is not a bad thing, it's a good no. thing. And you're going to show, uh, mm -hmm. we're going to do a before and after thing now, I think. <laughs> um, I mean, what do you, when you heard that, of Kate's gesture to do this, what did you think? Do you think that she's mad? She's crazy? Um, <laughs> yes, there were a couple of adjectives before mad, but basically, <laughs> yes, I thought she was mad. 
Um, and then I don't know Kate all that well. I know her better now. But then I thought, actually, that is the sort of thing Kate would do. Yeah. You know, being really supportive and just so determined. And it wasn't an issue to her. I'm going to do it. Get the money, I'll do it. Yep. And there was no sort of query about do I really want to do it or, or whatever. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really proud of her. And, and so so Tulip's really proud of her. <laughs> and I can't we're do the main now. <laughs> we're already proud. You can't change your mind now <laughs> because waiting in the wings is a lovely lady. Annette is going to come in and shave your hair for us now. Okay. So, uh, is, is uh, and, and it ready? I hope she is. She's going to be walking down now. So, you said on the last program, Mary, that um, if 10,000 is raised, We'll come back on your program, yep. done, and we'll do it. And today is the day that we're doing this uh, wonderful thing. And Annette is a lovely lady who is now going to... to she's got just the shaver in her hands, and uh, she has decided to do this. Are you a hairdresser, by the way, Annette? No, I'm not. You're not. <laughs> so you're doing this? Is it, is it revenge or something? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. And I think she's mad. She's an abnormal. <laughs> she's another abnormal. Another abnormal, I know, Be yes. Be careful when another there's abnormal. abnormals around. But, um, so you volunteered to do this. Now, Katie asked me, actually, but um, I didn't volunteer, no, because I don't really want to do it. You don't want to do it? <laughs> can I ask you before you, that, that shaver goes onto her head, have you done this before? I do Martin's hair, yeah. Um, a man's hair, yeah. oh, then. Okay, then. And well. Annette did the, the, the hair shaving right. to raise money yeah, to it after, that, the, after the show. So, so you're, you're good, uh, you know, you know how to shear yeah. and shave. Yeah, it's very easy, just straight through. Okay, ladies, I think I'll leave it to you. Yeah. And good luck, and thank you very much, uh, Kate, for this. Yeah. So yeah. while they're doing yeah. that, um, <laughs> we're, we're starting now, and this is a, a, a live Number shave one. on yeah, BRT television, and Kate is ready. You can begin whenever you want to, um, Annette. We're going to carry on talking with Mary. So Mary, I mean, you know, this is an amazing thing. And this is the first on my programme. And um, I think that, you know, that people are so brave. But isn't it the fact that with Tulips and with, um, you know, Razi Khoja Ismail leading, that anyone wants to do something to help this charity because it's such an important charity, don't you think? I'm, I'm absolutely amazed at what people do. I, I really am. Um, we've had lots of highlights this year in terms of raising money and we will have an absolutely bumpy year this year. It will be better than any money we've collected any other year, which is, is fabulous for Tulips. It's also quite good for myself and Sue Steele and Art because we're retiring to, to get out on a high. You know, that's, that's really, really good as well. Mm -hmm. But um, Kate mentioned that a, a friend of hers passed away just after she got back from the UK. And the lady concerned was a, a, a good friend of mine as well. She was one of the Zumba crowd that I meet on a Friday morning. Yeah. And um, we went to a, a wake the week after the funeral. And one of the ladies there um, had a little raffle and raised just over a thousand lira for tulips. And, and money, you know, money just appear from anywhere. But, you know, it's amazing that so many people think they will give money to support. And one of the really big things we've had this year, which we've never done before, is we had a gala dinner at the Alexis Hotel. Yeah. And they said, we will give you a gala dinner. We thought they might give us a tea party or something. And that was on Monday. And we went along and it was drinks beforehand and canapes, five course meal, music, we sold the tickets and every lira <laughs> from the ticket sales and some from drinks as well came to EFRA, which is, and that's been a phenomenal boost to our funds. I mean, well over 20,000 lira, it's amazing. It is amazing, and like I said, uh, you know, so many people supportive of Tulips. Yes. Because of what they do for the community. We've spoken about this, you know, umpteen times. Every year you join us on the programme prior to the fun run. We yeah. know how important it is. I think most people now know the significance of um, Tulips' work. All the charities here do great work. Yes. But Tulips in particular, because of what, how they helped the expat community, how they helped George Roper. That's how he wanted yes. to give back. Yes. And it's all George's um, idea giving back to the community, how he started the fun run, which is now, how many t how many years is it now, that the fun run? This year, the eighth? Eighth year. Eighth, isn't the it? Eighth year. Yeah, eighth year. So it began in 20... In 2011. 11. We have, we've had the eighth run, fun run. Doesn't time fly by? I remember the first time that George Rubber came in um, to talk about it for the very first time with his wife, Leslie. Um, I can't believe it's 
you know, eight years or eighth time down the line, you know, amazing to keep this going. And it's all to do with you guys and your hard work, you know, all the um, committee members, the people who organise this. And as you said, now I think it's on its, you know, automation now, I think, don't you think? You know, everyone knows what to do on the day. Yes. Everyone's yes. very well yes. organised. I mean, I, when I saw Art, your husband, after the, you know, the event, or, or, you know, after the races on the day, he said, you know, it was fantastic. It's all, you know, gone so smoothly. It's, it's amazing. But, you know, you all do a lot of hard work. I see you and, uh, you know, your, your team, especially you and Sue, running around. You had the, the sashes on, you know, committee member. And I think at the end you were like... Not for long. Not five for long. Minutes. Taking it off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> enough, enough now. But, but it did go very, very well. But, so you must be very proud of yourself. All these I'm, years. I'm, I'm proud of everybody who's made a contribution. I'm really proud of Carrington. He did a fabulous job this year. Mm. Um, I'm proud of the committee who works so hard. I'm proud of all our sponsors that we had. Mm -hmm. And just the people that come along and support us and help us. And um, a lot of SNTP actually turn out on the day. SNTP is empty yeah. on the day of the fun run. Yeah. People coming along and say, I'll do this, I'll do that. And just, just great, absolutely great. It is a very nice community feeling there, I have to say. You know, a yes. lot of people turn up, um, not just the expat community, but local Turkish Cypriots as well. A lot of people, you know, young, old. It's, it, it really is a fun event. So I do hope that 2019 EFRO will be just as good. I'm sure it will be. I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you, I know that you have stepped down with Sue, but is there anybody at the moment in the pipeline? Do you have any, are you in contact with anybody at the moment? We have some thoughts. I cannot imagine that it won't continue, yeah. is the first thing I'd say, because it's too big now. It raises too much money. Yeah. It generates too much interest. So I can't imagine that it won't continue to survive. Yeah. <laughs> I think it may survive differently. Um, and some of the thoughts we have would indicate that it will survive differently. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure it will survive. It will, it will. It cannot not survive. And I'm sure Razek or Jay will keep it going with her team as well. Yes, yes. In the, in the, in the near future. So, uh, are we nearly finished then, ladies? Yeah, she's done. She's a bit she's, You're done? Yeah, I haven't got a brush. Wow. And there we are. You look amazing. You do look amazing. Seriously. You look gorgeous. <laughs> Very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful Kate Bell. And uh, Annette did a very good job there. Very uh, professional, Annette. Yeah, thank you, Annette. I'm sure you'll have lots of um, people now running around. Come and shave my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who wants a hair shave? Can I look? Cool, Annette. Yeah, of course you can. Mm. What do you think? Be honest. You look good. Oh, it's fine. You look good. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. I think a round of applause for, for Kate Bell. She did a very good job. Go thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Very good. Live Thank on television. <laughs> Big coach. Thank you very much, Annette, for that. Thanks, and, Annette. Um, so, back to you, Kate. Right. Only about five, ten minutes. How do you feel when you looked in the mirror there? Um, lighter. Cooler. <laughs> really? Already? Cooler, yeah, definitely. It's starting to grow now. I can see it growing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's, yeah. it's soft. Very kind nice. Of. <laughs> Well, well done. Thank you very, very much for all that. You're an amazing sport. Um, you know, it's not easy to do this, to, to, to <laughs> put yourself forward for this. And like, you know, oh, it's a bit of fun or raising money for charity. But at the end of the day, it's your hair. And women, many, most women do like their hair, mm -hmm. very proud of their hair. So, but I'm sure it will grow back very, very uh, quickly and even more beautiful than it was before. Thank you so much. I'm so, sure it will. Yeah, I'm sure everyone's going to be applauding you tonight at the, uh, at the quiz. Yeah, they better let me win. Yeah. <laughs> are you going to be wearing your hat tonight? I'll, I'll wear it in and then I'll take it off. Ah. Yes. So now you'll see Kate with, with a hat. But I think you look um, fantastic as you are now. She you can did. walk around uh, like that. But protect your head, please. <laughs> protect it from the sun. Oh, yeah, I'll need to. <laughs> you did this and you're smiling now and we're very happy and you raised 13,000 TL. When you were talking to people about this, um, you know, I'm going to do it. Did anyone say to you, you know, are you mad? Are you crazy? Why? Yeah, a couple Did of people said, I'll give you 5,000 lira not to do it. Not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but you weren't persuaded by that, were you? No. 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 So I, I wanted to do, I can't do, I can't do many things. I can't like run marathons or swim channels or do a lot of things, but it's easy getting your hair cut. But this is something that you can do? Yeah. 
and you did it very, very well. And I mean, a lot of people were supportive, and you got sponsorship from um, abroad, didn't you, as well? When you back, when you back to the UK? Yeah, when I was back in the UK, yes, yeah. I asked all my friends, my family, and they supported me too. So. Were they, rooting, were they encouraging you, going, yes, go yeah, for it? Yeah, they were, actually. <laughs> yes, I, the children are proud. I'm proud, so they can't wait to see it on TV. Yes, well, this will be on, on, on TV and uh, hopefully later on on YouTube when we upload it onto the, uh, the social network. But, you know, I'm amazed, seriously. And doesn't she look good, though? Seriously. You're gorgeous. <laughs> Come on. If I looked that good, I'd have mine done. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, we, don't, we wouldn't put you through that. We wouldn't put you through that. But, mine but, may not grow back, you see, that's the risk. <laughs> But anyone who wants to have their hair shaved, you can do it live on television. <laughs> Only as long as you may raise some money for charity. Oh, then, yes. Then uh, we'll, we'll let you do it live on TV here. But no, it's a great sport. And it is amazing that, you know, we have so many wonderful people in the community here who are willing to do loads of different things yes. to raise money, to raise awareness as a charity. Um, it, you know, I really, really do bow down in front of you and say, well done, thank you very much. You're an amazing person, Kate Bell. Well, it was my choice. A lot of people don't have that choice. A lot of ladies lose it, and yeah. that's not their choice. So it's my choice, and yeah. I'm, I'm You pleased. did very, very well. Mary, not putting you on the spot now, but you said that you did very well this year. You're still counting. Because I know that you had um, a, a, one of your last events was, wasn't it, at Cafe George as well recently? Oh, we've had Cafe George. Um, we had the Alexis. Yeah. We had an auction night. Yes. Um, which is the day after the Alexis or the evening after the Alexis, which raised 11,500 lira. We've got Kate's money mm -hmm. and we've got the, the first of the abnormal shows on Saturday. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, the second one we're in the UK and we've had to close the books, but I'm sure we can get that sent to Tulips, just not through EFRA. Yeah. Um, so it's, you know, it really is mounting up and we will do very well this year. Do you think you're beating previous records? previous amounts. Yes, yes. Isn't that difficult? I mean, you know, every year you're putting the, the bar higher and higher and higher, wanting more and more and more, but, you know, it's, it must be very difficult to get everyone to, to put their hands in their pockets, the same group of people, but you manage to get, you know, more and more. Is it through the sponsorship and, and through people like Kate doing things like this? Yeah, I mean, beginning of the year, I said to our because he raised, I think, 144,600 something last year. We'll never make that. And I'm not even going to try because otherwise I'll get despondent. So my logic is every layer counts. And it started to creep up. And then we had a few different events that raised money that we weren't expecting. Um, we had a couple of sponsors who gave us more money than we were expecting. And I started to think, oh, you know, we might get close to 144,000 and we will get so much more than that. Really? So much more. So more than 444,000 Turkish Yes. Wow. And in fact, on Monday, which is a couple of days before we go to, um, to the UK, we'll be presenting the final cheque to Razir at this association, hopefully with the committee as well. So everybody's at home counting money now, making sure it's all banked. And, <clears throat> and we had Kate's money yesterday, bless her. So get it in the bank so we can then take it out tomorrow and we can take it up on Monday. So it's a question of counting the last few lira. Right. And, um, well, it will be in the press, I'm sure. And, and, oh, it uh, will be. It will be. It'll be uh, very well much uh, advertised in the press about the amount of money given to Razi Kojesimal for tulips. But I just want to say thank you very much for all that you are doing because, you know, all these years that you, your committee, I mean, before you, Art was committee yeah. chairman, um, you know, all these years that you've been involved, it, all this money that you've raised, it's amazing. Have, did you ever feel that, you know, I know that you want to retire now, and this is a great high to retire on, but do you ever feel like, oh my God, you know, I can't continue, or will we do it, will we make it? Did you ever feel uh, that, you, you know, you wouldn't be able to cope with all this? Or, I mean, actually you can cope, because every year you've been better and better, but has there been times when you think this is enough, let's just close it, enough of effort? No, 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 never, never. I mean, the year before last, um, and, and to some extent this year, I'd wake up at three in the morning, about a week before the front and I'd think, oh, I've got to do this, I haven't done that, need to check that. But that was more about getting stuff done rather than panicking, never ever thought it. And in fact, um, you know, a couple of times lately, I've said to our, like the Alexis dinner, I'm going to miss this. I'm still going to do it, I'm still going to retire, but I'll miss this. 
and we've had um, Sue and Art uh, and myself and, and members of the committee, we've had fabulous times, really mm. fabulous times. I mean, go along to the, absor of the, the abnormal evenings and picking their money up and, you know, getting involved in the shows. It's just so many fabulous experiences. But you will still be involved in that respect, won't you? You'll still be still going to the abnormal shows. You'll still be around. I'll still you won't be, be around. But you won't be organising it. I won't go on the committee. Yeah. Because I think that's a way to disaster. Because there's always somebody like me who will say, well, actually, what I think you ought to do is... And then he doesn't... I, and I think if you're going to leave, you leave. You leave. You don't stay in the wings. No, you no. Leave. You let somebody else <laughs> do it absolutely their way. Yeah. Because I can be a bit bossy and I'd hate to do that. You, bossy, never. Never, <laughs> ever bossy. Never. But, um, you know, today is just like, you know, the ice cream, you know, the, the cream, or was it the topping on the cake or whatever they That's say. Right. Yes, I think, you know, what you have done, Kate, needs to be, you know, out there showing everyone that, you know, shame on you if you don't put your hands in your pocket and put a five... TL or 10 TL note in mm -hmm. any of the boxes that you see in the supermarkets yeah. or any event. Yeah. Shame yeah. on mm -hmm. anybody out there who doesn't stop to think about you know, it could happen to you because the incidence of cancer, unfortunately, is rising yes. in the TRNC. Yeah. God forbid it could be you or, or me or anybody close to us that gets cancer, but you know, we are like laughing here, it's very light hearted, but it's a very serious subject. Mm -hmm. And every kurush, as you say, what you want to raise is, is kurush, the TL money, yes. and every uh, TL counts. But, you know, it is very important because it goes to those who are suffering. It could be, you know, uh, for treatment, it could be for counselling, it could be for anything that the, the patient needs or the family needs yes. even. So, you know, the, the, the 12 or 13,000 TL that you've raised is another chunk of money that will go to a very help. good, you mm -hmm. know, worthwhile cause. Will you, will you um, still continue to support Tulips? Um, through different things. I mean, you've done this this year. What yes. about next year? Can you talk well, this now? it's actually my ambition to um, run in the fun run. Really? <laughs> yeah, because I've been here 11 years and every time the fun runs on, I'm in the UK. Yes. So it's, I'm going to run the 5K this year. So next year, uh, in no, April? Next year, yeah, in April coming. You won't be going back to, to Scotland then? No, because my niece gets married in July, so we're going back later. In July. So no excuse next year? No excuses. Not to run? No excuses. All right then. And he'll be down here by then, won't he? Yeah. Oh no, I think I'll keep it short. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> she's getting used to this already. It's only, been, it's only been a few minutes and she's used to this already. Very good, very good. We but haven't asked Charlie how he feels about it. I can see him. <laughs> Charlie, how do you feel? How do you feel? I think tonight, Jan, stars in the eyes, Kate will be Sinead O'Connor. Yes. <laughs> Jeffy, I thought that, you know, I thought, but I didn't want to say anything just in case it was, you know, <laughs> offensive. Too much a lover, and if you told me 50 years ago when we first went out that she was going to do this, I would never have believed you. Yeah. Uh, because nothing compares to you, Kate Bell. You're amazing. Yeah. You're amazing. She's amazing. You, you are amazing. Absolutely amazing. And, uh, you know, again, I just think, you are an example to us all. Mary, you are an example to everyone as well. You're yeah. such a great leader, such Amen. a great committee leader, chairman for all these years. Um, I always say this, when people step down, I feel sad because you know, we have a great rapport. Um, on the other side of the tulips, we have Sue Tilton, Carol King, who yes. stepped down. Um, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm lost as a presenter without you guys. I'm looking forward to new members coming and being guests on my, my programme. So hopefully they'll be joining us next year for more great fun. But um, you've been great friends to us and I hope that we'll continue to keep in touch. And um, I know that Art's going to be coming in soon, hopefully, fingers crossed, in the next few weeks or months uh, with his project, with the Ziamet yes, uh, yes. uh, Special Needs School for the Children. But um, I just want to say thank you for all that you've done to you and your committee to you, to Sue, to Art, to everyone else working hard, to, to Carrington, to all your sponsors, and to everyone who turned up at the fun run, because, you know, without them, it wouldn't be a fun day, would it, really? Yep. No, it wouldn't, and I mean, we are really grateful to you and Denise for the tremendous support you give us. You know, the, the opportunity to come, and come on your programme, to go on Denise's programme, our events that you advertise, and, and it all makes a difference, you know? It all encourages people yeah. to come along and help and give money, so thank you. Thank you very much. And Kate, once again, thank you for coming in today, being so brave. Thank you for and having for not, us here. Uh, you know, uh, crying after losing your hair. <laughs> uh, you look beautiful, you look wonderful. 
Thank like you. Your, like uh, Charlie says, Sinead O'Connor, but even more beautiful than <laughs> Sinead O'Connor, I think. Um, now you, maybe you can do, you know, Sinead in the um, Abnormals now. I'll maybe talk to Susie about that. Okay, Susie, <laughs> you've got a new character of the Abnormals. If you need something uh, new, we've already got your first character for you. But good luck with the shows coming up. Thank you. The Abnormals. Thank you. And, uh, you know, good luck with all that you do. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Uh, maybe next year at the fun run. Yeah, if not before. If not before. Yeah. Thanks for being a great sport. Thank and thanks, you. Annette, for coming in today and for shaving your hair. <laughs> and I wish you all the best for the future. Thank you. You're a wonderful person. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mary, you're wonderful as well. Give my regards back to the committee. I will do. See you all soon. Yes. And uh, if anyone wants, to, anyone wants to find out more, how can we contact you? I mean, is, there, is the FRI 2018 Facebook page still open? It is, and it'll be open for a long time. Yes. And we tend to keep it going for months and months. And then about probably November time, it becomes EFRA 2019. Yes. So we keep it going for, you know, quite some time. So if you're on social media, and if we are already a member of 2018 EFRA, maybe EFRA 2019, we'll find out what's going on then later on in the Absolutely, year. Absolutely, yes. So keep posted via, you know, social media. That's what we're advising everyone to do now. Yeah. And of course, the local press. Yes. And of yes. course, a couple of conversation and Denise's main event on right, Back in National Radio. Watch your space. Ladies, thank you very much. Good luck and see you soon. Thank, thank you for having us. Thank you very much. You're thank more than welcome. And with that, we've come to the end of this edition of Cover Conversation. Thanks to Kate Bell and to Mary Watson. What wonderful ladies. What an inspiration to all of us. And maybe it gives you an inspiration to think of something to do next year for FRA 2019. Because the more fun we have, the more that we raise for this wonderful charity, the more that we can help cancer sufferers here in the TRNC. So until the next time we meet, go well and take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.